Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ros Smith and this is my colleague Angela McCarthy. And your names are? My name is Reno. Reno. And my name is Gabriella. Gabriella. Thank you. Can I have your mark sheets, please? Thank you. First of all, we'd like to know something about you. Uh, where are you from, Reno? I'm from Switzerland. I live in a small village in the mountains. It's called Sedrun. Only 1,400 inhabitants, and that's very nice to mm -hmm. live there. And you? I'm from Brazil, mm -hmm. and uh, I live in a big town. <laughs> yeah, and it's very hot. Mm -hmm. It's very good. And what do you like about living there? As I said, because it's very hot, the mm. weather is very different from here. And uh, I think that all my friends are there. And uh, I like to live there mm -hmm. because of this. Okay, and what about you, Rina? Yeah, I, as I said, I live in the mountains. In the winter, we have a lot of snow there. And we can go, we can go skiing every day. And I also like to go skiing in my free time. Mm -hmm. That's very nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you find it easy to study where you live? Um, I don't study where I live in Sedrun. I live in Kur, that's um, yeah, a city, mm. and it's near the mountains, but it's also near to the to the sea. So we can do both things in summer and winter. A lot of free activities. I know a lot of people there, so it's very, very good to do some mm -hmm. things mm. after the school. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Is there something new you'd really like to learn about, Gabriella? Uh, I'd like to learn about. Guitar. I like to learn mm -hmm. playing guitar because uh, I didn't have much time in Brazil because I was in the last year of my school and I had to study mm -hmm. a lot and I don't have time here too, so it mm -hmm. will be for ne next time. Mm -hmm. And um, who do you spend your free time with? Well, with my friends and my boyfriend, I used to spend my time mm -hmm. with him, but here. It's more with my aunt and her family because I live with them mm. and only this. I don't have much friends here. And um, how much TV do you watch in a week? Yeah, it depends. When when we have holiday, I, I, look, I look very, very much television and when I have school lessons and school time, I watched only one or two hours per day. So that means yeah, 10 to 15 hours a week. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you use the internet to learn new things, Gabriella? Mm, not much. <laughs> it's, mm. it's more, um, sometimes we have some homeworks that we have to look on the internet about history or geography or something about, but it's more for leisure and the internet. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Nothing Thank for you. school. Thank you. In this part of the test, I'm going to give each of you two photographs. I'd like you to talk about your photographs on your own for about a minute and also to answer a short question about your partner's photographs. Okay, Reno, it's your turn first. Here are your photographs. They show people spending time by different rivers. I'd like you to compare the photographs and say what you think the people are enjoying about spending time by these rivers. All right. Yeah, okay. Um, on the first picture, you can see a very big waterfall with uh, lots of tourists in front of there who are taking photographs of them. And in the sec second picture, you can see only a small river, uh, some families who are taking a bath in there. And um, I'd like to prefer to go to the second picture because there you can go into the water and that's not possible in the first picture because of the waterfall. It can be very dangerous. But uh, the first picture is also very nice to take photographs and yeah, to see this famous waterfall. Okay, thank you very much. Which of these rivers would you prefer to visit, Gabrielle? I would prefer the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's because I don't need to carry in the water, only taking pictures and mm. uh, watching 
the beautiful falls. Mm -hmm. It's nice for me. Thank you. Right, um, now, Gabriella, here are your photographs. They show people preparing a meal in different mm -hmm. situations. Well, I'd, oh, I'd like you to compare the photographs and say what you think is difficult about preparing meals in these situations. Um, well, I can see in the first picture that it's a family um, doing a cake for maybe it might be a special time in family and there's uh, the food is very homely and it's not any special for guests or something different from the second picture it's in a restaurant and there are chefs and they're preparing something very exotic or special for the guests and uh, What's difficult about preparing meals in the second picture is that you have to please the clients, the, the guests, sorry. And it's, it's because they're paying for the food and you have to make it very well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, do you enjoy cooking, Reno? Um, yeah, I have a known flat, so I also have to cook it. Mm to cook dinner, so I like to cook, but only only easy dishes, so not to have, yeah. Now I'd like you to talk about something together for about three minutes. Here are some pictures of things that can make living in a city enjoyable. First, talk to each other about how these things can help people to enjoy life in a city then decide which two things you think are the most important. All right? Yeah, okay. Uh, well, I think that a park is essential. You know, maybe on summer days when you're getting bored, stay at home, hot, and you just go to a park, enjoy yourself with family and friends. What do you think about this? Really? Yeah, also the big cities has a lot of parks. They are very nice, and you see there some birds mm -hmm. and and other people who are walking through the park and relaxing. Yeah. And here you can see, I think it's a football stadium. Stadium. Yeah, it's very big. Um, at the weekends there are a lot of matches there to enjoy it, to watch it, and to support the team. Yeah, sports are essential. Yeah. And um, there are lots of coffee bar here. This is more for the old people who want to sit and relax, reading their newspaper and chatting with friends. This is very good too. Yeah, but there are also young people. Yeah, there are also young people. We were talking to each other. But they look a little bored here in the picture, <laughs> yeah. don't you think? They like to prefer to go to a disco. To a disco, yeah. Disco is very nice. Yeah, job. to enjoy. To enjoy yeah. the whole night, talk with other persons, um, dancing and drinking some something. I think that this one um, with the water falling um, must be accessible only on summer. It will be terrible yeah. to have these waters in the winter, especially here in Cambridge, it's very cold. Yeah, but the people really enjoy it, as the, yeah. young, the children enjoy it, yeah. really, yeah. And this picture that can be a market, they sell some flowers. Yeah. And that's quite nice to go on Saturday or Sunday to a big market to look around and to see how it goes on. Yeah, but I don't think that um, music in the street, I, I think that's, this is not very nice. Why do you think um, that? Uh, because it's so usual, we have this everywhere. Going yeah, in the train station, you can see people playing, you know. Yeah, but in Switzerland that's no not excitement. usual. We don't have this in Switzerland, so oh. that's something new for me. Okay. And which of these 
which two pictures do you think they are most important for yeah for the people i think that park and stadium yeah maybe that can be for the older people and for the young people it's also important yeah. The different clubs and mm. the stadium is for all the people, yes. from young to old. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, what are the, d the disadvantages of living in a big city, Rina? Yeah, the, the pollution of the air, that's very terrible. A lot of cars, buses and... Um, yeah, it's not so nice. You don't have so much green areas that you can go go in and walk through. It's a lot of noise. Yeah, I think the, the most what important. What do you think, Gabriel? Yeah, I think the same as Bruno. And um, in the big city, you don't have much individuality. Yeah, everything that you do, you know that everybody's watching. Mm. You know, you, you can uh, see it in a park, like in a small town, mm. and just relax because you have to share the whole park with lots of people. So why do you think some people choose to live in the centre of cities? In the centre? Mm. Um, maybe because um, uh, you have to work and um, the big companies and everything mm. is being in the centre of the cities, you know. Mm. And uh, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. um, some people say that living in a city can be very lonely. What do you think? Lonely? Mm -hmm. I don't think um, mm -hmm. it's lonely when you live in a country. In a city you can do a lot of things. There are a lot of free time activities that you can do. You can walk through the shops and do a lot of shopping and watching to the other people, visit museums. A lot of tourist attractions. I think that isn't lonely. Mm -hmm. Okay. And would you prefer to live in a very modern city or an old one with lots of history? In an old one with mm -hmm. lots of history. Mm -hmm. Because, first of all, I love history. Mm -hmm. And and second, um, it's because modern city, you you don't have to do anything. Everything is in your hand. In a small city, you're, you're always enjoying the things that you're doing, you know. Mm. In modern, you have, you have everything there ready for you. Mm. So I'd prefer to live in a city with mm -hmm. lots of history. And is there a city you would like to visit in the future? We know. Um, yeah, I was a week ago in London and I also mm. like to go another time there because there's a big city a lot of things you can you can look at to go to the different museums to go on the london eye or mm. big ben and i like to see this city again mm -hmm. very famous and very big yeah mm -hmm. new york Why? Uh, it's because i have a friend that lives there mm. and we're very close and it's because a city is a city a lot of history too mm. it's a modern city, but there are uh, lots of things that we just we just uh, see on the television and hear about it. But I want to see if it's really that thing that they say, you know, amazing and mm. big and mm. and noisy and relaxing at the same time. You know. Okay. Right. Thank you. That's thank the you. end of your test. Thank you. Thank you.